the true light, which enlightens everyone, has come into the world. That was the message we celebrated hearing on Christmas Eve, and the message John reminds us of this morning. Whether one accepts the message as true or not does not prevent it from being what it is, God's gift given out of God's love for all of humanity. As a result of God's gift, our lives have forever changed. How does an event some 2,000 years ago, especially one we may not all believe in, affect us today? While the answer may lie in faith, there is also an answer that lies in science. In the early 1960s, a meteorologist named Edward Lorenz in a quest to more accurately predict the weather, began a series of experiments to prove that two weather events with the same beginning would yield the same <coughs> results. Assuming precise enough measurements were possible, he believed that the more precise measurement that could be taken of any condition it would yield more precise predictions about future events. Unfortunately, he learned that if any aspect of the event were different, even down to the smallest minute thing, the resulting event could be drastically different. In an effort to try to make sense of his findings, in 1972, he proposed a theory called the butterfly effect, where the ripple effects of a butterfly flying in Brazil might introduce minute changes in the atmosphere that could lead to a tornado in Texas. Now, while this may seem a bit implausible, and probably just another gimmick of weathermen to give them an excuse not to make a good prediction again, his point was that the impact of an event, no matter how seemingly insignificant it was at the time, does not need to be realized to make a difference, to make a difference in how it impacts our lives, or in his case, the weather. So based on Lorenz's theory, which by the way, over the years has gained some scientific acceptance, as we've been able to make more precise measurements. Even though Jesus came among us some 2,000 years ago, the effects of his life continue to send ripples through time that still impact our lives today. One might argue, given enough time, it could impact the lives of every human being, and may even culminate one day in that great upheaval we hear about in the Revelation to John, the upheaval that brings God's kingdom here to earth. Now I know that sounds like a pretty heavy and deep thought for the first Sunday after Christmas, but as I was thinking about this, an old <coughs> classic movie by Jimmy Stewart came to mind. It's a Wonderful Life. Most of you probably know it. Jimmy Stewart plays a man named George Bailey, who one day becomes overwhelmed with life's events and says that it would probably have been better if he had never been born. Along comes Clarence, his guardian angel, who shows him what life would have been like had he not been born. And as the story unfolds, the circle of influence of George's life grows wider and wider. And it even includes events that wind up impacting the lives of people George had never, ever met. What George learns about his life is that while seemingly insignificant, he made a difference 
that changed the lives of many and for generations to come. The questions debated by scholars and theologians alike is what difference did the life of Jesus make? How wide a circle of influence does it encompass? The simple answer is it makes a real difference and it's all encompassing. Just look at the opening verses of today's gospel account. Without him, Jesus, not one thing would have come into being. And the light he brings into the world, that light cannot be overcome by the darkness that exists. In fact, the light, Jesus, overcomes the darkness. And one day, there will be no darkness, just light. Like the impact of a butterfly in Brazil, a seemingly insignificant event, <clears throat> the birth of a child into poverty, will one day shape, reshape the world we know. And for this, we gather together to give thanks. Mostly because we know we've done nothing to earn such a gift. But the nice thing about a gift, a real gift, is that it's a gift. And whether we realize it or not, it is and always remains a gift. One thing I've come to learn about gifts is that they are often given out of love. Maybe that's why we exchange gifts at this time of year, as the way to show our love for one another. However, over the years, somehow we have come to surmise that the greatness or cost of the gift somehow reflects how much it is we love. O. Henry's short story, The Gift of the Magi, helps us see that there is nothing farther from the truth. In his story, we learn that the greatest gift we can give is not the one that is the most expensive, but the one we give of ourselves. Sound familiar? It should. Last week, we heard the greatest gift that we have been given was the gift of God's self. Whether one accepts it as true or not doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the fact that the gift has been given. And that as a result of this gift, our world, our lives have forever been changed. If this were not true, would we be sitting here some 2,000 years later still talking about it? I don't think so. Yet because we do, one day others will sit and see the impact of Jesus in their lives. And just maybe, just maybe, the ripple effect that passes through this place, through each one of us, will continue to reach far beyond us until one day it reaches the lives of every human being.